Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadjax, and today I'm going to be showing you Firefox for iOS. Firefox is finally now available on iOS. Unfortunately, you can only download it in New Zealand. If you go to the App Store listing from somewhere like in the United States, you won't be able to download it, but you will be able to download it later this year. As you can see, I have Firefox on my device and I'm here in the United States. There's a way to go around it and download it on any iOS device from anywhere in the world. But you guys can check out the article over at Gadjax if you guys wanna learn how to do that. I'm just gonna be showing you Firefox and some of the features that it has on iOS. So when you open it up, you'll see the start page. Here you'll see a list of favorites. If you tap on here, you'll see some of the bookmarks that you have saved. You can check out your history. And here you'll be able to see some of the tabs that are open on the desktop version of Firefox. And all of this is only available if you're signed in with your Firefox account. So here in the settings, you can log in, uh, you can sync it. There's a bunch of other settings that you can change, such as the search engine. You can also choose to block pop-up windows, which is a feature that I like. And you can change the view of your tabs. So this is what tabs look like on Firefox for iOS. If we go back into settings and we change this, your tabs will look like this. So you can choose either one. If we type in something into the search engine, so let's say I type in SL, you'll get several predictive suggestions. And you can see those up here and that'll search for those in Google. Underneath that, you'll see stuff from your history, from your bookmarks, from your favorites. And down here, you can also search for something through Yahoo, through Amazon, through Twitter, in case you don't wanna search it through Google up here. Another feature that I like is if you swipe down, you'll be able to view articles in full screen. So nothing will bug you while you're reading it. Uh, here at the bottom, you can share and you can also favorite whatever website you're on. And that's pretty much it for features. There's not too much. It's not gonna replace Safari or Chrome for me just yet, but if you're a diehard Firefox user, an existing user, this is a great way so that you can manage your history, your tabs, and all that while you're on the go. All right, well, that's it, thanks guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadgex.